All right, welcome back. We got our MTB Pro unboxing for December of 2015. Uh, Mr. Tacklebox is a subscription-based service. Uh, you send them 15 bucks, and every month they send you a box of tackle valued somewhere, uh, usually somewhere north of about 25 bucks. This is the Pro Box, which is a $10 upgrade. Uh, the normal Mystery Tackle Box typically will include some sample packs, so they can include more tackle uh, every month and give you a chance to try out more different things uh, for an affordable price. When you go upgrade to the Pro, uh, any soft plastics will be full packs. Uh, terminal tackle, that kind of stuff will all be full packs. But the Pro focuses more, uh, more on hard baits, so typically you got one or two more hard baits than you would in the normal industry tackle box. Uh, let's go ahead and get this thing open and uh, see what we got this month. So first thing we got our card telling us what all's what all's in the box. All right, so let's see what we start off with. First thing off, we got a Lucky Craft, which is really high quality tackle. Flash Minnow. So, so uh, yeah, Lucky Craft, and this is one of the premium brands right here. Um, and uh, the Flash Minnow is a this is a fairly small one, 95 millimeter, uh, medium running jerk bait. Uh, looks like this one is in. Uh, gold with a black back um, so you know, perfect for this time of year as the shad start to die off you know, jerk bait, the jerk bait bite really turns on uh, next thing we got is a sixth sense crush flat 75x so again another classic winter bait well hello kitty you want to lay down and be in the video or you just want to be in the video. Anyway, so next up is the Crush Flat 75X. It's uh, again kind of a uh, your classic winter style bait. It's a flat sided crankbait. This looks like this is uh, kind of a sexy shad color. See what they call it? Ghost thread fin shad. Um, so my normal water is not a shad lake, but I've got Lake Mead and Mojave right here next to me. Um, I, my next fishing trip is going to be on Lake Mojave, so this will actually be a, a should be a great bait there. Well, hello again, Kitty. You having fun? Can you go away now? Right next up, we got the uh, Yuzuri uh, 3DB popper. So, uh, top water, not necessarily the best uh, best winter bait, but uh, if I do head down to Lake Mojave, the uh, striped bass down there are uh, are still hitting top water uh, fairly regularly up the north end of Lake Mojave. So, uh, be a good one to try out. The uh, Yuzuri 3DBs, if you're not familiar with them, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting baits. Uh, this is one of the. This particular one is in one of the prism finishes, so a little extra flash. Kitty, really? No, go away. Go away. This is one of the ones in the prism finish. Um, so it's got a reflective surface right down the middle, and then uh, gives off a pretty good amount of flash. And then they, uh, all the 3 dbs have the ribbed belly, uh, just to create a little extra disturbance in the water. And this is a, like a blue back shad, or a blue back uh, blue back minnow. So should be a decent color. And uh, 
We'll definitely put off plenty of flash, so it should be an interesting, uh, interesting bait to try out this time of year. All right, next up we got the uh, net baits, baby pocket craw. And I got these in green, pumpkin, red, which is one of my favorite colors. So uh, these, it's a uh, tube style craw, so they're hollow, uh, basically up to this point. But you can Texas rig them. Uh, you can actually throw these on a tube jig if you want to. Um, and uh, they got a nice uh, anise scent to them, so it's not your standard garlic. It's a little bit different flavor, like uh, black licorice. So again, full pack of those. Next up, we got a Black Angel flipping jig. Uh, looks like again this one's in uh, green pumpkin with uh, some green flake. It's a three eighths ounce. So just a nice little, nice little flipping jig, got a flat head on it, uh, should sit up nicely on the bottom. Um, should actually pair fairly well. This is green flag, but it's fairly, and it's a fairly small jig, but it should fair, pair fairly well with the uh, baby pocket craw. So I'll probably fish those together. And then finally we've got the uh, title shot shorty, which is a... Uh, So the title shot shorty, which is a uh, swim bait type hook or a uh, so just, you know, push a push in keeper and then uh, text rig from there. So these are in quarter ounce and uh, looks like green pumpkin. So uh, I'll probably rig the brown because this is what they're calling this, just a basic brown. So I'll probably rig the, uh, the pocket craw up actually with these and put something different on the back of the the back of the jig. Got our Dable Digest, so usually some pretty good articles in here. Um, they've got their special going with 13 fishing right now. Articles this month on uh, fishing in current, fishing drop shot, chasing actively feeding bass. How to locate and fish brush piles, uh, super shallow water presentations, and then uh, three tips for fishing points. And then the, the back page of a couple different contests. So uh, we've got sticker, and then last left we got our match the hatch, which is their scratch off game. So go ahead and scratch one of these off on camera for the first time. Let's see what we got going on. So I got a bobber, a crankbait, a grub, a grub, a crawfish, and a bass. So, didn't win. I would have won, or could have won. A pair of Strike Clean Pro Series sunglasses. Which is actually the sunglasses I typically wear. That way well, you know. Uh, so we're looking forward to getting out on the water the next two weeks. Um, kitty. So we're looking forward to getting out on the next out on the water the next two weeks. Um, next two weekends, planning on going to Lake Mojave. So it'll be a little bit new water for me, um, but the uh, the striper and smallmouth bite are still going on pretty good uh, on Lake Mojave. So should be. Uh, should be entertaining fishing some new water and uh, seeing what I can do uh, trying to complete my Mr. Tackle Box Slam. So uh, until next time, uh, cheers and tight lines.